Uh, I think some m and alpha m, no? So m1, I'll take it, other, other let it be alpha m. So the weight of this piston, m1g by a1, So initial level Y naught. So this will be alpha M. Okay, Y M. So directly area of correction of this will be. So this will, this should be the weight of this. How much will be alpha M G by A two? I'm I'll show the liquid afterwards. Huh? In between, there's a liquid is present. So there's the initial level. It didn't say anything area. I think if masses are M and alpha M, the area of correction should be same or should be different. Should be different, no? Okay, I think there's the initial diagram. So let me assume the initial level is Y naught. According to Pascal's law, I think MG by A1 should be called alpha MG by A2. Why area of correction should be different? Because masses of pistons are different. I agree this point. Okay, let's get into the next part of the problem. So what he says is like, if a force F stays in equilibrium, same level. I think till here I completed. A gradual increasing downward force is applied on the piston P. So what about there's a piston P, there's a piston Q. Okay, now get into the constructor diagram related to the data query given. A gradually increasing force is applied. So that height h above the piston Q moves height h above its initial level. So I'll, I'll shift it up. And I'll, I'll, meanwhile, I'll try to draw a diagram. You can work out. Huh? Okay, this has shifted. So it will move up. So here a force F is applied. There's a piston P, there's a piston Q. So what is telling? It will rise to a height H from the initial level. So that initial level I'll indicate by the red mark. I think the information is available only this much for us. Okay, get into the problem. I think I'm helping with the basic diagram. This what you mean to see. What are the forces now? Mg by A1, alpha Mg by A2. The, the initial level, so it has rise by i h. So that is what we'll call this is y1. And, and this everything will be y0. Uh, can you, can you looking at this, anything can you write? First, first, can you write looking at this? Mg by A1, shall I say, is equal to alpha Mg by A2. Uh, on what basis? Say, here is what your concept should come into picture. Here is what your concept should come into picture. Uh, sir, what about atmosphere? Okay, we, we can neglect that one, huh? because anyway, like a uh, P naught. Neglect it, no, no problem, doesn't make sense. So you calculate pressure at one. Pressure at one should be equal to pressure at two, will I agree? Pressure at one depends on what? Due to this weight. So I'll, I'll write down the equation. Please try to learn the manometric equation. What is the pressure at this point? 
alcohol P1. Okay, press pressure it. Mm. Okay, we'll we'll use some number. Oh, three and four will use the first time. So what is the pressure? P3 plus rho G Y naught minus P1 equals zero. <coughs> what is pressure at three? Pressure at three is what? M G by A1. This was the Pascal's law we have studied. So rho G Y naught minus P1. Or, or instead of writing so directly straight away you can write it. What is the straight away writing equation? P3 plus rho G Y naught minus rho G Y naught minus P4 equals zero. Writing manometric equations start from three, come like this. Then then you are going to rise up no inside the liquid. So if you when you rise up, so what should be the gauge pressure should be negative minus rho G Y naught. So from this what do we get? P3 equal to P4. What is the P3? Mg by A1. What is P4? Alpha Mg by A2. <coughs> So A2 is equal to alpha A1. Okay, there's a one equation. Let, let me have. Oh, now let's come for this one. Looking at this, now can you write equations? So I suggest you like every time writing uh, the, of, of these kind of no, manometric equations. So straight away write from a point, from one point to another point. So shall we get into this particular one? I want you to write manometric equation from piston P to piston Q. Okay, I'll, I'll proceed here looking at this diagram. So what is it there force F by pressure is how much F by A1 Mg by A1 plus this is the level of liquid column. So call this is some X rho G X minus minus rho g y naught minus rho g h minus alpha m g by a2 equal to zero where you begin positive where you end up negative all set equals zero uh, what is the uh, what is y naught you can write it as what is x you can write it as because x is unknown thing what we have introduced so y naught shall we write y1 plus x so x is equal to y naught minus y1 so y naught here is equal to y1 plus x so x what you can add y naught minus y1 so writing this equation f by a1 mg by a1 rho g y naught minus x rho g y naught i'm just trying to I'm trying to develop a manometric equation. That's all. A student should be able to write manometric equation. Sir, uh, isn't wait. it y naught minus y one, sir? Y naught equal to y x equal to y naught minus y one. Okay, I like this symbol. Huh? Yeah, fine. Huh? So rho g y naught rho g y naught will get cancelled. So this will become rho g y one. rho g h minus alpha m g by k2. F by a1 plus m g by a1 alpha m g by a2 plus rho g y1 plus h keep keep it in hand this one uh, no what is a1 y1 equal to shall i write a1 y1 should be equal to a2 h2 <coughs> there's one more thing the volume of this part of the liquid where do it has gone earlier the piston p was here no the volume of this part of liquid where do it has gone it, it has it has occupied here so therefore a1 h1 a1 h1 sorry a1 y1 should be equal to a2 h2 fine that is one more observation you make it so here 
a1 y1 should be equal to a2 h. So I'll replace now y1 with the help of this particular formula. I think we'll, we'll start giving number. Huh? It will be easy for us. Two, three. Put three into, then eliminate y1. Because y1 is what we assumed it. I'll eliminate y1. I'll, I'll proceed here now. Put three into f by a1, mg by a1, alpha mg by a2, plus rho g, y1 is how much? a2 h by a1 plus h. So if I simplify all f by mg by a1 is equal to alpha mg by a2 rho g h equation 4. Now mg by a1 minus al mg by a1 is equal to alpha mg by a2 no yeah so shall we substitute here put one so what is f by a1 f by a1 will get will get equal to rho gh one plus a2 by a1 mm -hmm. no uh, wh what are things what is a2 a2 is equal to alpha a1 so this everything will become rho gh one plus alpha. Just mathematics, huh? writing manometric equation is the core idea, rest all mathematics, nothing to do here. Okay, this is about the initial one is asking. Okay, next after this, what is doing? Okay, let me take you to the question. Read the next part of the question. Now the force on the piston P is gradually removed and applied on the piston Q. How high will the piston P move above its initial equilibrium when the magnitude of the force on the piston Q becomes beta F? Now what force I'll be applying? I'll be applying beta F on the piston Q. And how high the piston P will rise? That has to be determined. So initial for the second, now we'll enter into the last part of the problem. Shall I, I'm going to scroll down. So that Y naught is very important initial level. That red color line is what will reference will help us a lot. Lack of that Y naught is what? I think you'll face a lot of problem in your solving. Okay, I'll go to the next question. Next page, no? Yeah. Let me solve this also in the similar way. And I'll take this diagram. Not needed. Okay, let's go for diagram here. So this is D. This will rise to a certain height. The initial level is a, is a reference which is very much needed. Huh? Without that, I think problem not possible. This is what that, why not? It will rise to certain height. This is, this is what we have to find out. And again, what is the weight of this? Mg by A1, alpha Mg by A2. Okay, let this be Y2. This is that initial level. Okay, write the equation now. So how much of force is applied? Beta F. Hardly it was alpha, uh, only F now beta F. So let's write a manometric equation. Beta F by A2 plus alpha Mg by A2 should be equal to Mg by Mm, shall I directly write at this particular point how much it will be rho g 
minus rho g h plus y2 minus of mg by a1 equal to 0. Uh, you should uh, ask me, sir, from where this equation is come, writing manometric equation from this point to this particular point. So how do I go? So what is the pressure at this point? What is the gauge pressure at this particular point? Beta f alpha mg by a2. Pressure at this point should be equal to this one. So no need to go down. It will be simply will be wasting time. So directly I wrote here. The gauge pressure at this point, beta f by a2 plus alpha mg by a2. Here, then, then I'll slide up. So then what is the height? h plus y2 is the, this one. So minus rho g h plus y2. What is the gauge pressure at this point? mg by a1. <coughs> so again, what is the thing? The y2 is unknown thing. So the volume of this part of the liquid has appeared here. I don't know what number we give. Five. Huh? Mm, yeah. So here A2 Y2 should be equal to A1H. Okay, replace Y2. Put seven in six and solve it. We'll get expression for the different. So put seven in six. So beta F by A2 alpha mg by A2 minus or equal to rho g h plus uh, mg a1 alpha mg a1 and here mg a2 and mg by a1 is there so those two will get eliminated from from here mg by a1 equal to alpha mg by a2 alpha mg by a2 and mg a1 that will get eliminated so beta f a2 equal to rho g h will take outside a2 plus a1 by a2 these two are equal hmm? Okay, no. Uh, a, a1 plus A2 in any relationship. A2 is equal to alpha, A2 equal to alpha A1. Beta F, A2 equal to rho G, A2 equal to alpha a1 plus a1 these two a2s will get cancelled so beta f by a1 equal to rho gh alpha plus 1 so let me put this call let me call this as 8 solving 8 times 5 solving for 8 and 5 you can straight away look at so we'll get expression for capital H in terms of small h f will get eliminated alpha beta only uh, uh, that also will get eliminated we'll get everything answer in terms of beta so solve 8 times 5 getting the idea this one it's all about writing manometric equation I just pick the problem only to show that manometric equations I'll scroll down, I'll go to next problem. So divide eight and five. I think if you divide eight and five, alpha will get eliminated. F by A1 